uh, my name is Victoria Yampolsky, and I run the Startup Station. In this video, I'd like to talk about something that is often overlooked as a resource for early stage startups. And this is the Board of Advisors. Now, do not confuse the Board of Advisors with the Board of Directors. The Board of Directors, it's a legal entity whose uh, goal it is to protect the interest of shareholders. You often have representatives on the board of directors that represent your largest investors. And so very often the board of directors represents those interests. Now, the board of advisors is to help company executives evaluate the company strategy and to ensure that the company executives can meet their objectives. Let me describe six reasons why I think the Board of Advisors is an amazing resource that any early stage startup should utilize. Number one, expertise. So when you're in a very young company, you don't have access to all of the expertise that you need to run it. If you are uh, two programmers that creating the most amazing software product ever, you may still lack marketing expertise or business expertise or um, even industry expertise if you're creating this product in the industry that you don't have any experience in. Just because you know how to write code does not necessarily mean you know how to run a company. Similarly, if you're a person that has industry expertise but needs to create a technology solution for it, you may still need help in that area because even to hire the right service provider requires a certain knowledge and uh, an ability to evaluate whether a given service provider is a good fit for your company. So expertise is something that can be very easily provided by the board of advisors because you can bring advisors on board with the exact expertise that your company is lacking. Okay, and so it can be one advisor per one area of expertise, or if you're lucky, one advisor can fill a couple of areas of expertise. Number two, outside opinion. Now, when you are running your company, you are often located in a silo. You don't really have access to a lot of outside opinion and feedback. Maybe you're at a point where you're already asking customers about what they think about your product. Maybe not. Having a board of advisors gives you that outside opinion. The board of advisors is an unbiased entity. They're not in business to please you, your co-founder, or investors. Their uh, mandate is to be honest with you and to provide you the best feedback they can in order to help you create the best company that you can. And having an outside opinion from somebody who's very experienced, especially at the very early stage, is very valuable. Number three, structure. Before you have an office and a full-fledged team, it's very likely that you're working from home, maybe from a co-working space. You lack structure. You lack an ability to properly evaluate whether or not you're progressing fast or slow, etc. Having regular meetings with the board of advisors gives you that structure. It gives you a chance to step back and evaluate where you are, to uh, understand what you did right and what you did wrong, and to select the best path forward. Number four, credibility. When you're a very young company, especially in the industry where you don't have any expertise in, it is important to gain as much credibility as possible so that when you're talking to your strategic partners or customers or investors, there is more uh, clout around what you're doing. Having somebody who is a respected uh, subject matter expert in the industry vouch for you, vouch for your vision, vouch for your solution, is very valuable. It can lend you that credibility that you currently lack. 
Number five, network. Now, the people that you're going to be bringing on board as advisors are people who have been working for many years, and they already have very developed networks that can help you with multiple things to make your company happen, starting from hiring and going to strategic partnerships, securing your first customer agreements, and even bringing new investors on board. And finally, cost. Bringing an advisor on board is not expensive. According to the latest Y Combinator document, it only costs anywhere from 0.5% to 2% of your equity, vested over two years, to bring a very qualified, experienced person on board that can significantly help your company grow. Now, the percentage depends on how uh, involved they're going to be and also what stage your company is in. Also, if you know some very influential people, they may agree to join your company out of the goodness of their heart. And then once you have money, you may choose to compensate them per hour. So in summary, the Board of Advisors is an amazing resource that I highly recommend that you utilize and um, make your company successful. Thank you for listening. If you like this video, please comment below and share it with your friends and colleagues. And for more information, go to www.thestartupstation.com. Thank you and goodbye.